What is going on guys? Texmex Ferguson back here again with another video for you. It is Road 96. Uh, this should be my last episode for the series. Um, it may be a little bit longer, so I'm going to go ahead and make this a mega episode. So let's go ahead and get right back into this. Oh yeah, uh, if you're looking at that uh, last episode, we met both Alex and Fanny. Uh, Alex is the child of Fanny, the adopted child of Fanny, if you did uh, not notice that in the last episode, or if you're just clicking into this final episode. I don't know why you'd watch the last episode of the series instead of watching the other ones. But yeah, uh, he or she, I'm not sure which, I'm assuming it's probably supposed to be a boy? I didn't do a whole lot of research on that. But anyway, uh, Alex is the adopted child of Fanny. And I do not like Alex because he had a phone call in the last episode with Fanny and she said, I love you. And he said, bye. So he does not love his mother. So, or they do not love their mother or whatever they choose to be. I'm uh, not going to judge. Anyway, let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to go. Um... I talked to these people last episode, they said go one direction, and I can't remember which direction they said to go. Um, I'm assuming uh, the back way would probably be the easier option, because there appears to be a bunch of semis and stuff there. Um, it says I can go... Why does it say I can go that way? Huh. Anyway, we will go right again. Oh yeah. Or sorry, we will go left. It's my bad. Look, I'm American, okay? My uh, sense of direction is not the best. So we're just gonna travel through the woods. Uh, who? Who are you? I... Sir? Whoa. Hold up there, kid. Not unless I let you. Maybe I won't. And why should I? Give me a good reason. Uh, I went across is why. Should have said so. Talk to my boss at the camp's entrance. She can hook you up if you got the dough. Okay, cool. I got 48 bucks. I'm pretty sure I should be good. <laughs> Maybe they're like, oh, you won't like, you'd give me like $5,000. I'm like, ah, shit. So, uh, See, hey. How are you? Who wants to know? Someone looking across. Maybe I can help with that. The important word being maybe. Fine. But this is against my better judgment. Just don't slow me down. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Walk through the woods. Walk through the woods. Okay. Before we go farther, I'll need what we agreed on. Look, business has been good, so eh, I'll give you a discount. Oh sweet. Twenty-five. We've got some walking to do. Cool. I still got twenty-three bucks. Oh yeah. This seems, uh, like a fruitful endeavor. Oh. Seems like a very fruitful endeavor. Uh, what's it? Oh, hey. How are you? I tried to cross. I guess my night vision is non-existent. I have some money. Can I walk with you? I'll need more than that, kid. Come on, we need to keep moving. All right, let's go. Screw him then. This is my adventure, not his. <laughs> I want to cross. I don't care if he can. Hold up. That light ahead should be the guard I know. Stay here. Okay.
It's him. But he's gonna want more. I know it. <sighs> Fine. I'll call you down. Take the fifteen. Done. You leave me with eight dollars. I swear she better not leave me here. If she does, I will come find her. You can come down. Ah, right, cool. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Come on, this way. I'm trying. Hey. What's almost up? Almost there. Cool. We're almost there. You kidding? That's what you paid for. All right. Thanks. Cool. Appreciate it. You know, I could just easily snuck around it, dude. He doesn't seem very uh spry. Cool, so now what? Climb wall, cool. Hurry. Ah, balls. Go, go where? Go where? Go where? Here's the going back. Going back! Not oh, now! Oh! I died! <laughs> How the hell? <laughs> yes, you might lose your life along the way. But for each person that falls, another rises up. Oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, I should have just kept going on from the last episode. <laughs> uh. The trick is to keep moving forward. I didn't know what to do. Like, I had no idea what to do there. Um, crap. Uh, well, this sucks. All right, let's go ahead and. Oh, oh god. Okay. All right. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So I guess, uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on with a different one. Wow. I did not expect to actually, you know, bite the bullet on that one. Uh, <laughs> weird. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and continue. I want to see what goes on after that. Honestly. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. In a Sonia exclusive, I've learned of a troubling brigade attack that nearly took the life of one of Petria's finest. The victim herself, still traumatized, did not wish to appear on the show. Here tonight is a colleague to shed light on this terrible event. Hello, Officer Shorts, and welcome. Hello, Sonia. Thanks for inviting me. So, do you have any news on the victim? I do. Officer Campbell is doing much better and should be back on patrol any day now. Wonderful news. So, if I understand, an explosive device toppled a billboard which nearly crushed Officer Campbell in her car. Yeah, that's right. These brigades hooked up some kind of small bomb to the billboard and then lured Officer Fanny Campbell there. Horrible. Well, thank you, Officer Shorts, for appearing on our show and keeping Petria safe. In very good news, a large network of smugglers helping teens cross has recently been dismantled by security forces. Thank you for keeping our country secure, Border Forces. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. It's basically unanimous, viewers. The people love Tyrak. As you know, the Sonya Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report remember if you have any information please call the Sonia hotline 
Alright, so I guess I gotta pick another teen to play as. That is so weird. Uh, the hotline is available 24 hours, uh, seven days uh, a I week. like that Let's dude has an earring though. He looks pretty home. cool. Um, he has a dollar. He's might be the best. Uh, to, he's not necessarily. Uh, oh, he is the closest look. actually to the border. Uh, that one. I think this one would probably be the best bet, honestly. He's like 14 though, but he only has a dollar. He's the youngest. Seven days a week. Let's bring these teens back home. Alright, let's uh let's continue going then. Is this a trailer park? Beat it. This looks familiar. Is this the same trailer park where I met Zoe? Huh. Thousand dollar reward, huh? Alright, cool. T. Alright. Um, personal, personal only. Alright. Take. Uh, I will. I will take the baseball bat. Can I, uh. Oh! Okay, well, I guess that, uh, that helps. Do they have, a a CD in here? No? Is there... There's down barbed wire. I guess I can't really do anything about that. Alright, um... Yeah, we'll just go in. Why not? What's the worst that's gonna happen? I already died once. I get this other kid. This other kid absolutely moited by the... About a border patrol. Cats! Sweet. Is there anything in here we're taking? Uh, happy Mother's Day. Uh, I want the little dinosaur. Though, can I have the little dinosaur? You want to give me the dinosaur? No. Oops. Absolutely. Well, I guess this is a 14-year-old boy's dream, huh? <laughs> Just absolutely wrecking all over the place. Uh, da -da, da -da 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 -da. Smack the chair, smack the chair, smack the chairs, and the wow, the physics reception. All uh, right, cool. Uh, why is there a floating chair? Uh, let's go back this way. Then just go ahead and move these around. Probably shouldn't have been beating up the property. Like that, but you know, it happens. Yeah, this looks like uh, I can do something with this. It's showing I can do something with this. No, no, I can't. Okay, I guess not. Alright then. Oh, Jesus Christ! You've been breaking things, haven't you? Yes. That's not very nice. I'm sorry? I'm scaring you, aren't I? Kinda, here, you're... Sorry. Follow me. I wanna show you something. Oh God, he's gonna show me a dead body, isn't he? <laughs> he's gonna show me the hole where I'm getting buried. Impressive, isn't it? Oh, yeah. The brigade used to live here. In they have fact, answers. this is where they planned the attack in 86. Uh, why did it Tyrak found it after the attack. Those still here were arrested. How many were never heard from again? Oh, I Go see. on, take a look around. All right, but uh, can I can I have the little dinosaurs though? They're kind of adorable.
Huh. Well, I said I could have a look around. I guess, you know, couldn't hurt. What's this? Uh, sure. Was it? Oh, cool. I got three dollars. Extra sweet. Can I not swing my bat anymore? Do I not have my bat anymore? That's what they called the radio tree. They used it to make their radio broadcasts. You're looking at what allowed them to recruit their members. Oh, I see. That's what I wanted to show you. Ooh. I... I think we should break it. Did you just I say... Did. Oh, we yeah! Should break it. Oh, okay. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Break stuff! Yeah! Limp biscuit! Break stuff! <laughs> oh, yeah! There's something to break. Yeah. I like to smoke after therapy. Oh, cool. Thank you. Oh, cool. My bat's broke, sir. You don't want to get tired on the road. That's when they, the cops I mean, find you. So I smoke. I smoke a lot. Hmm. Well, they took Lola, his why. Lola was my daughter. The brigades took her away from me. She was just 16 when she joined them. Her biology teacher, Bob Winters, recruited her. She always liked Bob. Huh. Uh-huh. Uh. Mm. She was. When the day came for the attack in 86, they sent her and some other members to the wall. The detonation didn't go as planned, I guess, and she was buried beneath the rocks. She wanted to be a paleontologist. Someone who studies dinosaurs. She knew everything about them there was to know. Their names, what they ate, everything. Yeah, of course she decorated it with dinosaurs. Hmm. I like dinosaurs. This was a mistake. It didn't help. None of it. Destroying the tree. Talking. Talking. It only made things worse. You should run. Run. All uh. right. I'm running. I'm trying to run. <laughs> Where do I run to? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm glad I'm not totally stupid. <laughs> Never mind. I, I am kind of stupid uh, yeah I am very very st the okay okay pick lock okay I am uh I'm going to uh get the potatoes out of here 
First and foremost, I am not going to rest. That would be a dumb idea. Uh, Vandalize, obviously. That's what this one is for. Taxi? What do you got in there? Got anything cool? No? Alright, cool. Uh, Alright, let's keep going. What's this? Check trash. What I got in here? Alright. Ah, right, cool! I got three more dollars. Who is throwing money out like that? Wait a minute. I have exactly seven dollars. I am 100% taking this car. I would need the keys. Um. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh, I guess I'm walking. <laughs> we are walking on out of here. Me. Now, I know I said this is going to be a mega episode. Because I figured, you know, we would be done with the game. But, yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to keep on going a little bit further. Just so I can uh, figure out what we're doing. Yeah, yippee. Alright, guys. Yeah, yippee. Uh, that's the way I came from. Alright, let's go back this way. Still can't cross the road. It's weird. And the game does not allow you to cross roads for some reason. Missing. Uh, teen information. Okay, cool. Um, I am none of those. Actually, I was one of those. I was, uh, this one. I do believe. The girl with the hat. So, uh, yeah. Let us keep going. And we will see where this leads us. Wait, let me... I want to check my, uh... Okay, cool. I still got my, uh, collectibles. That's quite nice. Alright, I still got my CDs, so... It's all good. All good. There is a run button? How am I just realizing that? That there is a run button? Like, I could have escaped and lived. I could have lived if my dumb ass would have realized this game had a run button. What's that? Pick lock. I don't have anything to pick locks. Mutter futter. I got absolutely zero things to pick locks. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. 100% I am taking this money. Look, I'm just saying, if you're gonna leave a pile of money on a table like that, out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, it's gonna get taken. Though it looks like People have already stayed here. Ah, uh, shut balls. There's a biker here. I drank your soda. Well, Look. maybe we don't have to wear the outfits oh. all the time. Crazy talk, Mitch. Now, shh. It's almost time for the Sonia show. I wonder what she's gonna wear today. <laughs> Me too. That pink number, maybe. That's not the creep after Sonya, is it? Nope. He ain't nothing but a hitchhiker. Tie him up. Oh, come on. I told you he wasn't dead. You were right. Guess I owe you five big ones. Hey, guys. I don't have it on me right now. But I will as soon as we rob the kid. Where am I? 
This is Stan and I's hideout. Pretty nice, don't you think? Shut up, Mitch! Give us all your money, kid! Now! Yeah. Yeah, all your money. Ah, uh, sure. In case you didn't notice, we're the ones giving the orders. Maybe I'll have to show him the beast. Whoa, you hear that? The beast. Now search him, Mitch. See, I knew that was a bad idea. Well, looky here. How much you we took my money? About? Not enough to quit the game, Stan. No amount could ever make us quit the game, Mitch. Uh, it'd be nice to rob someone actually rich once. Sure would, Stan. Mitch, this kid is starting to hurt my ears. Showing the beast. With pleasure. <laughs> now, beast. Come on. We got work to do on our investigation. Sweet Sonia's life hangs in a balance. Okay, then I guess. <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy, Mitch. Yeah, me too. And if we don't crack this soon, it'll be too late. What you talking about? Quiet, little buddy. Do I have to show you the beast again? Yeah, shut your trap. Let the grown-ups think in peace. Kid, someone wants to end Sonia's life. The famous reporter? Yeah. We doubt that you could help us. <laughs> I've been on the road, I know things. Well, Mitch, maybe I'm crazy, but maybe he can help. Yeah, I mean, what do we have to lose here? Pick him up. We'll make you a deal, kid. Help us, and you'll get your money back. Ah, right, cool. Right, so, uh... Sure. So we're trying to find out when the killer is gonna attack. We got some of his letters and things right here. When he's gonna attack is somewhere in them. We just know it is. Okay. Okay. Eight years. Uh, June 6, 1979. Okay. Eight year old Lola. So, uh... We know the girl's birthday. Wait a minute. He says he's going to act on his kid's birthday. Uh, sleep is no longer an option. I spend my nights at the office planning, planning and planning some more. I know. Now I'll act on Lola's birthday. Yes, Sonia Sanchez and the brigades will pay for what they've done. You can bet on it. Okay. I uh, look at that. Uh, eight birthday. June 6th is what it says. Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. Her death, okay. Us, us here. He had this letter in his journal. Never fast. Yes, his daughter was 86. fond of reptilians. Uh, Mr. Winters says not to contact anymore, but I feel I should tell you we're leaving tomorrow morning to do something in four days. That will change everything. One day you will understand. Okay, so four days from September 5th. So that's September 9th. Right? So it said... I'll act on Lola's birthday. So that would be June 6th. 6th. Right? That guy's seriously 16. Uh, the days go on. One day. of us indistinguishable from the next then a moment of clarity I've changed my mind one last time I know when I'll act I just don't know where if anything right. happens dear Lola to sweet Sonia, today you would have been 23 years old crazy. they say time heals wounds but for me it seems to open them up again still I've decided your birthday shouldn't be a day of death even if they deserve it Today will always be the day 
my baby girl was born and nothing else. That leaves just one day for my revenge. The day ten years ago when you said everything would change. It did change, but not in the way you meant, your father. Okay. So I just want to do this one more time. Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. Look at okay, so it is it is uh what was it? September three let's see January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Nine would be the day. That's it! It all makes sense now! You're a genius! Oh, sweet! <laughs> Deepest apologies I showed you the beast earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. We still need to figure out what this guy looks like. And where the attack is gonna happen. Oh, but, I know. Uh, I know who it is. You know, now we're making progress. Yeah, we are. Here's your cash, kid. It's best to honor one's promises. Stan and Mitch rules. Alright, thanks. I appreciate that, guys. So, uh, how do I live? Near the TV. Just climb it. Now get. Okay, cool. Uh, can I not, uh... I know who the guy is. Like, I know who the guy is. Like, you guys aren't gonna... But, uh... Before you go... Maybe you want to ask us something? Uh... Mitch and I never do that. Petria's being good to us, making us thieves and all. But I heard smugglers can help. Yeah, but you need real dough for that. Alright, cool, thank you. I need the, uh... I said ladder by the TV. What? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what ladder by the TV? In what way is this a ladder? But okay. Fair enough, I guess, guys. Yeah, could I take your bike? I will definitely take this. Uh, scratch. You lose. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, can I take your bike? No? Alright, well, I guess I'm off then. Me and my fancy $27. Cool, thanks, guys. Run! Now that I know there's a run button. Alright, we will go ahead and I will rest here. Coolio, 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 coolio. So, let us continue on our way. I could call for a cab. You know what? I haven't done, I've done hitchhiking. I've done the walking. I haven't done the bus, but the cab is a dollar. Yeah, the taxi is a dollar. Why not I just use the taxi? That would make way more sense. All of our taxis are currently busy. Please call again another day. That's why I don't use the taxi. Damn it. All right. Well, I guess. Ah. I'll hitchhike. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, I'm guessing the worst that could happen is nobody shows up, huh? Oh, I do have that. What is it? 96, uh, 112. 
96, 112. 96, 112. Okay. Okay, we got some progress here. Uh, use. 90. 6. 1. 12. This is the Sonya Hotline. Please note, any false information will result in criminal prosecution. Hang up. What do you mean, hang up? <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. You're not gonna. Uh, Alright. What are these? Anything else interesting here? Flores? Vandalize? No. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, continue one foot then, I guess. Biggies. Food and drinks. Huh. Beep, boop, beep. Alright, well, this looks like a good spot for me to end the video, guys. I do appreciate you watching this. I know I said it would probably be the last one, but apparently I still got a way to go. So if you appreciated the video and you liked it, just go ahead and throw a like down in there for me. And then go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment down there. Let me know what you want to see next if you enjoyed the video. And I will catch you dudes in the next episode. Bye bye. 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 Bye 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 bye. Bye. Biggie Burgers. Bye.